it's, it's heartbreaking and scary to think that somebody in your community has gone to that, doing that tra the tragic things that he done. And he's hurt a lot of people. He had his dentistry in Dartmouth. Yes, I know where it is, yeah. And um, my neighbor, she just had her teeth done by him, the plates done, a couple of months ago. And she said he seemed pleasant that day, and who knows what made it happen. I never thought that that would happen in this, our community, because it's, you know, a group community. Everybody shares everybody's concerns. And I feel sorry, very sorry for the families that have let, had their losses. I feel sorry for him, because something drastically happened. And hopefully his family can find some peace. And all the families that have lost their loved ones can find peace. I, uh, I got up to probably go to the bathroom, I suppose, at 1 o'clock or 1.30 in the morning and saw lights and, and this, and originally thought it was probably a fire and uh, beyond that realized it was, it was, there was probably upwards of 14 police cars uh, in the community, so I obviously stayed up and, and kept the best, best eyes I could on it, but yeah. I'm very surprised that, you know, I, I never thought he would do something like that. From what I knew of him, he was quiet, gentle, you know, he's very easy to talk to. I don't know what to say, it's just, it's very depressing. You know, to see somebody do something like this.